Welcome everybody, this is Alan with Daily Armor of God. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you're doing well. This is reading the Old Testament in 150 days. We're on day 28. Today we'll be reading more Numbers and Psalm 28. So, starting with Numbers chapter 5. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Command the children of Israel that they put out of the camp every leper and everyone that hath an issue and whosoever is defiled by the dead, both male and female, shall you put out. Without the camp shall you put them, that they defile not their camps in the midst whereof I dwell. And the children of Israel did so, and put them out without the camp. As the Lord spake unto Moses, so did the children of Israel. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, when a man or woman shall commit any sin that men commit, and to do a trespass against the Lord, and that person be guilty, then they shall confess their sin, which they have done, and he shall recompense his trespass with the principle thereof, and add unto it the fifth part thereof, and give it unto him against whom he hath trespassed. But the man, if the man have no kinsman to recompense the trespass unto, let the trespass be recompensed unto the Lord, even to the priest beside the ram of the atonement, whereby an atonement shall be made for him. And every offering of the holy things of the children of Israel, which they bring unto the priest, shall be his. And every man's hallowed thing shall be his. Whatsoever any man giveth the priest, it shall be his. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, and say unto them, If any man's wife go aside, and commit a trespass against him, and a, a man lie with her carnally, and it be hid from the eyes of her husband, and be kept close, and she be defiled, and there be no witness against her, neither she be taken with the manner. And the spirit of jealousy come upon him, and he be jealous of his wife, and she be defiled, or the spirit of jealousy come upon him, and he be jealous of his wife, and she be not defiled. Then shall the man bring his wife unto the priest, and he shall bring her offering for her, the tenth part of an ephah of barley meal. He shall pour no oil upon it, or put frankincense thereon, for it is an offering of jealousy, an offering of memorial, bringing iniquity to remembrance. And the priest shall bring her near, and set her before the Lord. And the priest shall take holy water in an earthen vessel, and of the dust that is in the floor of the tabernacle, the priest shall take and put it in the water. And the priest shall set the woman before the Lord, and uncover the woman's head, and put the offering of memorial in her hands, which is the jealousy offering. And the priest shall have in his hand the bitter water that causeth the curse. And the priest shall charge her by an oath, and say unto the woman, if no man have lain with thee, and if thou hast not gone aside to uncleanness with another, instead of thy husband, be thou free from this bitter water that causeth the curse. But if thou hast gone aside to another, instead of thy husband, and if thou be defiled, and some man have lain with thee beside thine husband, then the priest shall charge the woman with an oath of cursing, and the priest shall say unto the woman, The Lord make thee a curse and an oath among thy people, when the Lord doth make thy thigh to rot and thy belly to swell. And this water that causeth the curse shall go into thy bowels, and make thy belly to swell, and thy thigh to rot. And the woman shall say, Amen, Amen. And the priest shall write these curses in a book, and he shall blot them out with the bitter water. And he shall cause the woman to drink the bitter water that causeth the curse, and the water that causeth the curse shall enter into her and become bitter. Then the priest shall take the jealousy offering out of the woman's hand, and shall wave the the offering before the Lord, and offer it upon the altar. And the priest shall take a handful of the offering, even the memorial thereof, and burn it upon the altar, and afterwards shall cause the woman to drink the water. And when he hath made her to drink the water, and then it shall come to pass that, if she be defiled, or have done trespass against her husband, that the water that causeth the curse shall enter into her, and become bitter, and her belly shall swell, and her thigh shall rot, and the woman shall be a curse among her people. And if the woman be not defiled but clean, then she shall be free and shall conceive seed. This is the law of jealousies. When a wife goeth aside to another instead of her husband and is defiled, or when the spirit of jealousy cometh upon him and he be jealous over his wife and shall set the woman before the Lord and the priest shall execute upon her all this law, then shall the man be guiltless from iniquity and this woman shall bear her iniquity. Numbers 6. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, and saying to them, 
when either man or woman shall separate themselves to vow a vow of a Nazarite, to separate themselves unto the Lord, he shall separate himself from wine and strong drink, and shall drink no vinegar of wine, or vinegar of strong drink, neither shall he drink any liquor of grapes, nor eat moist grapes or dried. All the days of his separation shall eat nothing that is made of the vine tree, from the kernels even to the husk. All the days of the vow of a separation there shall no razor come upon his head until the days be fulfilled in which he has separated himself unto the lord he shall be holy and shall let the locks of the hair of his head grow all the days that he separate himself unto the lord he shall come at no dead body he shall not make himself unclean for his father or for his mother or for his brother or for his sister when they die because the consecration of his god is upon his head all the days of his separation he is holy unto the lord and if any man die very suddenly by him, he hath defiled the head of his consecration. Then he shall shave his head in the day of his cleansing. On the seventh day shall he shave it. And on the eighth day he shall bring two turtles, or two young pigeons, to the priest, to the door of the tabernacle of the congregation. And the priest shall offer the one for a sin offering, the other for a burnt offering, and make an atonement for him, for that he sinned by the dead, and shall hollow his head the same day and that he shall consecrate unto the Lord the days of his separation, shall bring a lamb of the first year for a trespass offering, but the days that were before shall be lost because of his separation was defiled. And this is the law of the Nazarite. When the days of his separation are fulfilled, he shall be brought unto the door of the tabernacle of congregation. He shall offer his offering unto the Lord, one he lamb of the first year without blemish for a burnt offering, and one ewe lamb for the first year without blemish for a sin offering, and one ram without blemish for peace offerings, and a basket of unleavened bread, cakes of fine flour made with oil, and wafers of unleavened bread anointed with oil, and their meat offering, and their drink offerings. And the priest shall bring them before the Lord, and shall offer his sin offering, and his burnt offering. And he shall offer the ram for the sacrifice of peace offerings unto the Lord with the basket of unleavened bread. The priest shall offer also his meat offering, and his drink offering. And the Nazarite shall shave his head of the separation at the door of the tabernacle of congregation, and he shall take the hair of the head of his separation and put it in the fire, which is under the sacrifice of the peace offerings. And the priest shall take the sodden shoulder of the ram and one unleavened cake out of the basket and one unleavened wafer and shall put them upon the hands of the Nazarite after the hair of his separation is shaven. And the priest shall wave them for a wave offering before the Lord. This is holy for the priest and the wave breast and the heave shoulder and after that the nazarite may drink wine this is the law of the nazarite who hath vowed and of his offering unto the lord for his separation beside that his hand shall get according to the vow which he vowed so he must do after the law of his separation and the lord spake unto moses saying speak unto aaron to his sons saying on this wise he shall bless the children of israel saying unto them the Lord bless thee, and keep thee. The Lord make his face to shine upon thee, and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee, and give thee peace. And they shall put my name under the ch upon the children of Israel, and I will bless them. Numbers 7 and it came to pass on the day that Moses had fully set up the tabernacle, and had anointed it, and sanctified it, and all the instruments thereof, both the altar and the vessels thereof, and had anointed them, and sanctified them, that the princes of Israel, heads of the house of their fathers, who were the princes of the tribes, were over them that were numbered, offered. And they brought their offering before the Lord, six covered wagons, twelve oxen, a wagon for the two princes, for each one an ox. And they brought them before the tabernacle. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Take it of them, that they may be to do the service of the tabernacle of congregation. And thou shalt give them unto the Levites, to every man according to his service. And Moses took the wagons of the oxen and gave them unto the Levites, and the two wagons of four oxen he gave unto the sons of Gershom, according to their service. And the four wagons and eight oxen he gave unto the sons of Merari, according to their service, under the hand of Ithamar, the son of Aaron the priest. But unto the sons of Kohath he gave none, because the service of the sanctuary belonging unto them was that they should bear upon their shoulders. And the princes offered for dedicating of the altar, in the day that it was anointed, even the princes offered their offering before the altar. And the Lord said unto Moses, They shall offer their offering, each prince on his day, for the dedicating of the altar. And he that offered his offering the first day was Nashon, the son of Aminadab of the tribe of Judah. And his offering was one silver charger, the weight thereof was a hundred and thirty shekels, 
one silver bowl of 70 shekels after the shekel of the sanctuary. Both of them were full of fine flour mingled with oil for a meat offering. One spoon of 10 shekels of gold full of incense, one young bullock, one ram, one lamb of the first year for a burnt offering, one kid of the goats for a sin offering, and for a sacrifice of peace offerings, two oxen, five rams, five he goats, five lambs of the first year. This was the offering of Nishan, the son of Aminadab. On the second day, Nathaniel, the son of Zoar, prince of Issachar, did offer. He offered for his offering one silver charger, the weight whereof was a hundred and thirty shekels, one silver bowl of seventy shekels, after the shekel of a sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour mingled with oil for meat offering. One spoon of gold, ten shekels, full of incense, one young bullock, one ram, one lamb of the first year for a burnt offering, one kid of the goats for a sin offering, and for a sacrifice of peace offerings, two oxen, five rams, five he goats, five lambs of the first year. This was the offering of Nathaniel the son of Zor. On the third day, Eliab the son of Helon, prince of the children of Zebulun, did offer. His offering was one silver charger, the weight whereof was a hundred and thirty shekels, one silver bowl of seventy shekels, after the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour mingled with oil for a meat offering, one golden spoon of ten shekels, full of incense, one young bullock, one ram, one lamb of the first year for a burnt offering, one kid of the goats for a sin offering, and for a sacrifice of peace offerings, two oxen, five rams, five he goats, five lambs of the first year. This was the offering of Eliab, the son of Helon. On the fourth day, Eliezer, the son of Shedeur, prince of the children of Reuben, did offer. His offering was one silver charger, the weight of a hundred and thirty shekels, one silver bowl of seventy shekels, after the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour, mingled with oil for meat offering. One golden spoon of ten shekels, full of incense, one young bullock, one ram, one lamb of the first year, for a burnt offering, one kid of the goats for a sin offering, and for a sacrifice of peace offerings, two oxen, five rams, five he goats, five lambs of the first year. This was the offering of Eliezer, the son of Shedur. On the fifth day, Shelemiel, the son of Zerashaddai, prince of the children of Simeon, did offer. His offering was one silver charger, the weight whereof was a hundred and thirty shekels, one silver bowl of seventy shekels after the shekel of a sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour mingled with oil for a meat offering, one golden spoon of ten shekels full of incense, one young bullock, one ram, one lamb of the first year, for a burnt offering, one kid of the goats for a sin offering, and for a sacrifice of peace offerings, two oxen, five rams, five he goats, five lambs of the first year. This was the offering of Shelemiel, the son of Shirashadai. In the sixth day, Eliaseph, the son of Duil, prince of the children of Gad, offered. His offering was one silver charger, weight of a hundred and thirty shekels, a silver bowl of seventy shekels, after the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour, mingled with oil, for a meat offering. One golden spoon of ten shekels, full of incense, one young bullock, one ram, one lamb of the first year, for a burnt offering, one kid of the goats for a sin offering, and for a sacrifice of peace offerings, two oxen, five rams, five he goats, five lambs of the first year. This was the offering of Elisaph, the son of Duro. In the seventh day, Elishama, the son of Amihud, prince of the children of Ephraim, offered. His offering was one silver charger, the weight whereof was a hundred and thirty shekels, one silver bowl of seventy shekels after the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour mingled with oil for a meat offering, one golden spoon of ten shekels full of incense, one young bullock, one ram, one lamb of the first year for a burnt offering, one kid of the goats for a sin offering, and for sacrifice of peace offerings, two oxen, five rams, five he goats, five lambs of the first year. This was the offering of Elishama, son of Amihud. On the eighth day offered Gamaliel, the son of Pedazur, prince of the children of Manasseh. His offering was one silver charger, the weight of a hundred and thirty shekels, one silver bowl of seventy shekels, after the shekel of a sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour mingled with oil for a meat offering, one golden spoon of ten shekels full of incense, one young bullock, one ram, one lamb of the first year for a burnt offering, one kid of the goats for a sin offering, and for a sacrifice of peace offerings, two oxen, five rams, five he goats, five lambs of the first year. This was the offering of Gamaliel, son of Pedazur. On the ninth day, Abidan, son of Gidoni, prince of the children of Benjamin, offered. His offering was one silver charge, the weight of was a hundred and thirty shekels, one silver bowl, seventy shekels, after the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour, mingled with oil for a meat offering, one golden spoon of ten shekels, full of incense, one young bullock, one ram, one lamb of the first year, for a burnt offering, one kid of the goats for a sin offering, 
and for a sacrifice of peace offerings, two oxen, five rams, five eagles, five lambs of the first year. This is the offering of Abidan, the son of Gidoni. On the tenth day, Azer, son of Amishadai, prince of the children of Dan, offered. His offering was one silver charger, the weight whereof was a hundred and thirty shekels, one silver bowl of seventy shekels, after the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour mingled with oil for a meat offering, one golden spoon of ten shekels, full of incense, one young bullock, one ram, one lamb of the first year, for a burnt offering, one kid of the goats for a sin offering, and for a sacrifice of peace offerings, two oxen, five rams, five he goats, five lambs of the first year. This was the offering of Azer, the son of Amishadai. On the eleventh day of Pagil, son of Akron, prince of the children of Asher, offered his offering was one silver charger, the weight whereof was a hundred and thirty in shekels, one silver bowl of seventy shekels, after the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour, mingled with oil for a meat offering, one golden spoon and ten shekels, full of incense, one young bullock, one ram, one lamb of the first year for a burnt offering, one kid of the goats for a sin offering, and for sacrifice of peace offerings, two oxen, five rams, five he goats, five lambs of the first year. This was the offering of Pegil, son of Akron. <clears throat> On the twelfth day, Ira, son of Enan, prince of the children of Naphtali, offered. His offering was one silver charger, the weight whereof was a hundred and thirty shekels, one silver bowl of seventy shekels. After the shekel, the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour, mingled with oil for a meat offering. One golden spoon of ten shekels, full of incense. One young bullock, one ram, one lamb of the first year for a burnt offering. One kid of the goats for a sin offering. And for a sacrifice of peace offerings, two oxen, five rams, five he goats, five lambs of the first year. This was the offering of Ira, son of Anan. This was the dedication of the altar in the day when it was appointed by the princes of Israel. Twelve chargers of silver, twelve silver bowls, twelve spoons of gold, each charger of silver weighing 130 shekels, each bowl 70, all the silver vessels weighed 2,400 shekels, after the shekel of the sanctuary. The golden spoons were twelve, full of incense, weighing ten shekels apiece, after the shekel of the sanctuary. All the golden spoons was 120 shekels. All the oxen for the burnt offering were twelve bullocks, and the rams twelve, the lambs of the first year twelve, with their meat offering, and the kids of the goats for the sin offering twelve, and all the oxen for the sacrifice of peace offerings were twenty and four bullocks, the rams sixty, he goats sixty, the lambs of the first year sixty. This was the dedication of the altar, after that it was anointed. And when Moses was gone to the tabernacle of the congregation to speak with him, then he heard the voice of one speaking unto him from off the mercy seat that was upon the ark of testimony. From between the two cherubims, and he spake unto him. All right, Psalm 28, a Psalm of David. Unto thee will I cry, O Lord, my rock. Be not silent to me, lest if thou be silent to me, I become like them that go down into the pit. Hear the voice of my supplications when I cry unto thee, when I lift up my hands toward thy holy oracle. Draw me not away with the wicked and with the workers of iniquity, which speak peace to their neighbors, but mischief is in their hearts. Give them according to their deeds, and according to the wickedness of their endeavors. Give them after the work of their hands, render to them their desert. Because they regard not the works of the Lord, nor the operation of his hands, he shall destroy them and not build them up. Blessed be the Lord, because he hath heard the voice of my supplications. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusted in him, and I am helped. Therefore my heart greatly rejoiceth, and with my song will I praise him. The Lord is their strength, and he is the saving strength of his anointed. Save thy people, and bless thine inheritance. Feed them also, and lift them up forever. Amen. Man, so many, I'd say every chapter in Psalm, there's awesome verses the whole bible is awesome but there's so many amazing verses about you know the lord being our our strength right and how we should put our trust in the lord because he has our best interests our heart and he knows our hearts so he knows what we need before we need him so that's why it's so important we trust in the lord right because he is our strength and our shield so that's going to be it for today's reading. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you all have a great morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you're at. Remember to put God first in everything you do. Have faith in Him. Trust in Him. Wait upon Him. And you will never be sorry. 
And God willing, we'll see you tomorrow with more of this Bible reading plan. So, thanks again. Take care and God bless.